please have a venti iced vanilla latte? Thank you. Today I woke up seriously in the mood to go shopping or at least window shopping to go Halloween decor hunting. This is one of those hobbies that is seasonal. And yes, it's July. Today is July 7th, 2023. And let me tell you something. It is gross in Orlando today. I woke up and it was raining and storming. And now it's not storming anymore, but it is so humid that you could cut the air with a knife. And I know I'm super enthused and I'm one of those people that's all about making the best of things no matter what the weather is, but even I have my limits and it is gross out. So it's a perfect day to do indoor things. And this is one of the things that I love doing. Every year I love and I get really excited during July, during the summer to go to the craft stores and the home decor stores and see what Halloween goodies they have out. I know this is a niche thing and I hope that whether it's your thing or not, you just enjoy spending the day with me. And of course, I always start these little shopping trips out with a Starbucks because it's just tradition, it's just fun. We're caffeinated, we're ready. Let's go hunting. We've made it to our first stop. That's right, it's Cracker Barrel. And this may seem weird to some people, but amongst those of us who love Halloween decor hunting, it is known that the shop inside of Cracker Barrel is a haven for anything Halloween, Christmas, any holiday, they have some wacky, weird, and really cute stuff and speaking of holidays you can see they're still decorated for the fourth of july since i live here in orlando florida most of what we're going to do today is here along the us 192 where you can also find a bunch of wacky gift shops like orange world all right let's see what they've got i don't know by the way if anything is out i know other cracker barrels across the country do have halloween stuff but i do not know if mine does so let's find out i see fourth of july okay Oh my jackpot, code orange. I already, uh, let me show you everything. I'm out of my mind happy right now, even a Halloween tree. There's so much here that's catching my eye. I don't even know where to start. So we have children's Halloween costumes. We have Disney, a bunch of cute things. This pumpkin is gorgeous. I love it. But listen to this little haunted house. I don't know if you can hear it. It's like creaking and there's a cat. Oh, and it goes, ooh. There's an owl hooting. Moaning ghosts. <laughs> this is incredible. And this is Haunted House with projection 39. I honestly thought it would have been more. It makes a lot of noise. This LED smoky ghost is $34.99 and it is incredibly cute too. This, I am just in love with this. How beautiful. This carriage with a skeleton couple inside in what looks like their wedding attire. She's got her bouquet and they're sitting on a bench made of bones with skulls too. And it's like a snow globe, a glitter globe. It's beautiful. I can't get over this, it's still going on. There's another glitter globe over here, acrylic skull glitter globe, and not just glitter in there, but bats. Bats flapping around, can you see them? Let's see if I can get good focus on this. That is cool as heck. Another glitter globe here, this is a fresh brew poison since 1900. That is so cool. Little salt and pepper shaker. So the Cracker Barrel stores are known for having really cute and themed salt and pepper shakers. And this is a pumpkin and a black cat. Oh, look at this. It's twirling and it's got, you know, pumpkins and bats and skulls and it's lit up. And this is cool, it looks metal. Ooh, oh, hold on, let me turn it around. Oh, it's really light too, <laughs> interesting. Oh, look at that. How much it costs. Whoa, that's really cool actually. This ceramic tree here, this nostalgic tree as they call it, I have the exact same one for Christmas. I actually think I have more than one. They come in white and green, but I have a little white one. It's a little smaller than this. It's exactly the same mold, but for Christmas. It's white and it's got Christmas colors. And it makes me think I kind of need this one now, because this one has a little witch's hat 
and it's purple and orange and you know it would make sense to have the corresponding ones just to give you some context of like how how big this is is huge but i kind of feel like i need it because if i have a christmas one i need a halloween one right right we have a cauldron, a haunted call bell. What is this? Oh, it's a candle. <gasps> Wait, let me check if it smells because that's the all important thing. Smell test. I don't think it's scented. I don't think it's a... I smell nothing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is scented, but look. It's a bubbling cauldron and the bubbles are really cute. It's got a bone, it's got eyeballs and a skull in it. It's in this cauldron. So it looks like once you burn the candle, you can you know, use this, maybe put another candle in it. I don't know, but I really like it. How much is this, $12.99? I'm picturing that while this is burning and the bubbles, like it would look cool like a bubbling cauldron while the wax is melting. I'm gonna think about it. They only have two out, so maybe I'll just hold it while I think. Oh, here's the box for the LED jack-o'-lantern. It says with sound. Uh, I don't see a test me thing on him. Hello, sir, hello? I don't see like a, you know, try me, test me thing on him, so. I'll just have to trust the fact that he makes some kind of noise. So there's a lot here. This family's a little baddie. That's cute. Selected works of Edgar Allan Poe. Skull mug. It looks like raw iron or something. That looks cool. $7.99. Exclusively for Cracker Barrel. Ooh. It's gone baddie cup. It's always fun. These big wooden stand-ups. Oh, look. So it's wired. So these are light up. And it says, welcome if you dare. It doesn't have a stand like some of these do, so you'd have to figure that out, lean it up against the wall or something, but I'm sure, you know, we're crafty. We can figure out a way to hang this up or prop it up or something. <gasps> LED welcome leaner? Oh, that's that. That's the leaner. Mini salt and pepper shakers. These are little ghosts and they're so cute. Wait, they're 99 cents only. Oh, there's a whole bucket of them. Okay, cute, cute, cute. But I'm talking about this ghost mug right here is what I'm talking about. I think if I'm gonna get a mug, it's gonna be this one. That is just absolutely classic Halloween. And that's what I'm all about. I love just ghosts and witches and vampires and just cl <gasps> Oh, whoever decorated this tree, you did an amazing job. You did an amazing job. Look at all the things that are in here. Witch's hands, spider webs, snake. Over here we got romantic skeletons leaning against each other. Another glitter globe thing. Skeleton couple sitter, that's what they're called. Skeleton glitter globe. And it looks like it's in a little house, like a haunted mansion type of house. Oh my gosh, look! Oh wait, hold on. I might have to be getting this because, <gasps> look at, it even has a little swinging. I'm gonna have to put the camera down for a second to carry this, but I'm definitely getting the ghost lantern. This is amazing. There's boxes down here for most things, but I don't see a box for this, so I'm gonna go ask. And hopefully no one grabs it while I'm going to ask. But that is so beautiful. It's just nostalgic. All right, I'm thrilled. They said they have two in stock and they're grabbing me one right now, so I am getting that. It reminds me of these beautiful, nostalgic ghost, ceramic ghosts from like when I was a kid, but it looks also very modern and artistic. And I love the hanging lantern there. That's a beautiful piece, and it's huge, too. It's, it's huge. This is a really cute skeleton pillow. Glow in the dark, it says. Oh, I love that. Animated skeleton in a barrel. Oh, can we make this work? Is there a test to me? Oh, he popped. Okay, hold on. Let me turn it on. Find a oh. skeleton fart in public. <laughs> he doesn't have the guts. <laughs> <laughs> he tells jokes. <laughs> okay, he tells jokes. Is it like turn on like this or just does it just do one joke when you turn it on hold on wanna know what's really scary yeah i tell he tells fart jokes he he tells fart jokes okay <laughs> well that's a funny one. Ooh, they have a haunted america book love that and then we've got this skeleton guy with the glowing eyes he is Five foot skeleton with light up eyes. He's got those kind of eyes, you know? 
They're very blinky. He's got a try me button, but he's just kind of set to on. He looks good, actually. We got more salt and pepper shakers. We got some Day of the Dead kind of stuff mixed in. <gasps> Look at this cute, this is Winnie the Pooh with a little pumpkin. Disney baby. That's really cute. Nice. And then we've got Scooby-Doo, which, you know, the Scooby gang, if you ever watch Scooby-Doo, the cartoons, movie, whatever, uh, you know, they're the ultimate ghost, spooky, problem solving, Scooby gang. That's actually really cute and very appropriate. And look, here he is in a cape too. What else do we have here? Oh, Scooby-Doo shirt. Yes, I will take one. Thank you very much. Snoopy with pumpkin and Woodstock in a long sleeve tie-dye. Really soft, really cute, and it's $24.99. scooby dooby doo where are you? Shirts and also peanuts. Halloween tees, very cute. Oh, it's Snoopy as a mummy. Wait, it says try me, animated plush. I feel a battery pack. Oh. <laughs> I won't let you fall, Snoopy, don't worry. I'm trying to make sure he doesn't fall. I don't know how to turn him off, maybe if I... There we go. That. I love that. And then we've got the broom. Okay, how do you weigh? Oh! I love broom. Are you kidding me right now? I love this shirt too. Oh look, bullfrog slime hand soap. It's glittery and green. Very cute. So there is a lot here. There is a lot. What else we got? Ooh, oh, now see, now I can't get near here without the bird being in the way. Mogwai. Oh, it says try me. Okay, Gremlins theme song. No Halloween candy after midnight. Oh, his little feet move. Da, 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 da. Animated ghost costume dog. I like the ghosties too, but I like these. Boo. Oh, look at this. I didn't even see this big Scooby-Doo. Dracula. I have to hold the camera way up because it's way up in the sky. But I love it. So this witch hand, $7.99, it comes on this stick, this wire. It's really hard though, it's not like a soft wire. So you could get really crafty with this and you could use this for a number of different projects. I love it and I love all the glittery ornaments here. Look at that cauldron. It's really high up, but. I can use this to point. See the cauldron right up there? <laughs> yes, my pretties. I am very, very happy. We have found a gold mine here at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> please, someone take this hand away from me. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> please don't take it. Hello, everyone. We're here looking at Halloween. Okay, let me put this back in the tree. I kind of love this. I'm very tempted. But, uh, yeah, I still can't get over the house. I love the house. But let's go check out because the one thing I purchased here is this puppy. And that is pretty pricey, so it's a pricey puppy. Oh, wait, skull musical, uh, lighted musical skull chandelier. I almost didn't notice that. That's beautiful. Oh, I can't do two big purchases like that today, but that's cool. Plus, I have nowhere to put that. But this, I do. I will make room for it, right? Right. Nice to meet you. See ya. Bye. And just to give you an overview, these shops are connected to every Cracker Barrel restaurant I've ever been to, at least, anywhere I've been to them. And they always have a wide variety of sort of old-timey, homey type of stuff, and old-timey candy, and just weird, wacky, and cute stuff. And they always have stuff for whatever the season is, right? So Christmas, Halloween, summer, whatever. And the Halloween section was right here in the front of this one on US 192. For any of my fellow Halloween decor hunting loving people, we do not gatekeep here, we share. So it's right next to the entrance here. And right now it looks like they are fully stocked with everything. This just makes me so happy to look at. And this is how big the box is. <laughs> Load up and let's go to the next store. I just heard a crazy thunder.
thunder rumbling. It's probably gonna be thunderstorming on and off all day because that is just July in Florida. It's actually beautiful, I love the thunderstorms, but it does make it a little harder to do outdoor things. You can totally do it, I always carry an umbrella, but you know, it's a little less comfortable. Besides the rumbling in the sky with the thunder, <laughs> there's been a lot of rumbling about Cracker Barrel and so many of you tagged me and wrote to me and told me, Jackie, you have to go check Cracker Barrel for Halloween, so thank you for doing that and please, keep on tagging me, writing to me, and letting me know when there's cool places that I should go to for Halloween stuff and for anything, because I love it. My list of places that I wanna go to make videos at is miles long, but I'm always willing to bump things up, especially if they're seasonal and, you know, in the moment. Speaking of in the moment, last year when I did some Halloween decor hunting and shopping videos, so many of you told me I needed to go to Dollar Tree, and I did not get out there, but this year, it's right here on 192. It's about two minutes away from Cracker Barrel. So I had to do it. And again, I do not know if they're gonna have anything Halloween or not. They may not. This may be a bust. It may be a jackpot. We don't know, but that's kind of part of the fun of the thrill of the hunt. I came here to drink Starbucks and Halloween hunt and I'm all out of Starbucks. Well, almost. It's thundering, it's rumbling, it's definitely starting to rain. I see some drops, it looks nasty out there. Well, when I say nasty, it is beautiful. I love storm clouds, but nasty is in nasty weather. Come on, Dollar Tree, what you got for us? What you got? All right, let's see. Okay, we have 4th of July, summer for all seasons. So we have summer, Americana, 4th of July, summer, summer state of mind. Summer's getting wiped out here, but a lot of cute summer. I don't know. Uh, school, back to school. They actually have great prices for back to school. You know, school supplies are so expensive nowadays. They get more and more expensive through the years, and this is a place where you can get them for you know, a lot less. I'm guessing the seasonal section here will be where they put Halloween stuff out when it is out. I have seen other Dollar Trees in the country have stuff out, but mine doesn't yet. But, you know, I'm sure it will at some point over the next few months. But for now, you can still get summer stuff and back to school stuff, which is great. You don't have any Halloween stuff out, right, yet? Okay, thank you. All right, let's keep on hunting. Whoa, because that's the fun. Had a nice good rain while we were driving and then it kind of stopped but it'll probably just start again be on and off and there was some really cool lightning too while I was driving but we're here at Joann's we're here at Joann's I feel like it used to be called Joann's fabrics is this the same store Joann handmade happiness I think it is but this is known as a fabric store a craft store do you hear the thunder and I think they must have just changed the name or maybe I'm at a knockoff Joann's. Hopefully, <laughs> that was the right thing. It, it looks like it. When I Google Joann Handmade Happiness, it says Joann's Fabric. So yeah, it looks like they just kind of changed their branding a little bit, but that's okay. Ooh, the first door I don't have to open today. All right, let's scope it out. <gasps> wait, I see orange, no wait, that's summer. Wait, I see pumpkins. <gasps> I see pumpkins. Okay, hopefully this is just the beginning. All right, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit here to the florals section where there is a lot of fall, quite a lot of fall. Beautiful orange hues and lots of little pumpkins. And just to give you a wide shot here, there are so many different fall floral arrangements and wreaths and just everything here for hanging your wreaths up. And then they have these draping sort of vine wreath things and they're really pretty. There's glittery fall leaves and just all sorts of different types of aesthetics and moods and vibes. There's a lot of that here. Bags of pumpkins and pine cones that you can use to and different types of gourds and fall leaves that you can use to put together your own decorations, your own little crafty designs all sorts of different things here, but let's see what else they've got as far as decor. This is very cute. We've got sort of pine cone, chestnut, 
forest creatures. Very pretty. And then again, just little pieces that you can use to craft your own fall art, artistic crafts and whatnot. Pretty much everything you need to put together your own whatever, well, anything. Oh, cute. These critters are adorable. They remind me of cartoons, like vintage retro cartoon characters, and they're just really, really cute. We have a big giant empty section here and it has a Halloween lining up on top and says place and time. So we know that this is where they are going to be filling out their Halloween decor and we can even see what's coming. Thank you so much Joanne for doing this for us because we can see that there is a ton of Halloween decor coming that they have not yet put out. There is still more though, I can see it from here, so I'm gonna show you in a second. They've started to put some out, just a little bit. We've got some very cute storage boxes, and you can use these to store your Halloween decor. You can use them for your desk, whoop. They're magnet, so the magnet keeps them closed. Very pretty inside decoration too. This is definitely the kind of thing I would have at my desk. I love this one. Happy Halloween. Most of us have way more decor than you can fit in these little boxes, but you could use this to store some of your stuff or whatever, whatever purpose. Fill them with candy. Oh, how pretty is that? The design inside. And we can see there's a lot to come. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at these bows. I love a try me. Oh, nice. Very pretty. $4.99 for these little puppies. Joanne's I can see a lot out and I can see a lot coming so it gets me really excited to come back in like a week or two doesn't mean I'll necessarily make a video when I come back in a week or two I come out and do this a lot without making videos just for my own personal fun but I'll at least post it or something look at the cute Santa wreath yeah I love that now the reason I grew up calling this Joanne's fabrics and I think it was Joanne's fabrics and still is in my heart of hearts is because Look at the fabric section. That is what this store is all about. Fabric for making your, oh! Look at this. It's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Okay, I'm finding the Halloween fabric. So this is about fabrics that you can make whatever out of. Clothing, uh, furniture, pillows, whatever, whatever. <laughs> look at this. Oh my gosh, look, Mickey Mouse. Disney Halloween is the cutest Halloween, but spooky Halloween is spooky Halloween. Yeah, they have a plethora of Halloween fabrics here. Joann's fabrics, Ghostbusters. More Mickey and Minnie Disney. Oh, this is a cool Ghostbusters with a slime, Friday the 13th, Hocus Pocus, a lot. Oh, look at this very cute Disney treats. Wow, so many. And then I saw some more over here. Yeah, look at this. You can pretty much find whatever kind of fabric you want, whatever kind of vibe you're going for for any holiday, you can find it here. And if you are crafty, you know, this is pretty great jackpot, I would say. I think that was, I'd say, a half a jackpot because we found a lot of fall and Halloween, but we found a lot that is coming soon so that's a jackpot in the sense that we know it's coming but we haven't gone to see it yet but we'll be back Ooh, yucky it's so humid y'all it's like you could literally just it feels thick and yeah i grew up in florida i'm used to it but you know it's like i always say you never get fully used to it you still feel it well look over there oh man that is crazy look at that can you feel the humidity through the screen? See, this is kind of falling out. I think we're gonna try one more place. One more. We've arrived at 
at home. This is a little bit out of the way. We're off 192 now, but I know they do have good Halloween decor when they have it, but I don't know if they have it yet. So this is again another just going in for the gamble, going in for the hunt. It'll be fun. Let's see, store wide clear. I think, do I see something already? I don't know, hold on. Wait, okay. There's so much. It smells like a craft store. It smells so good in here. O M G. I don't know if you see what I see right now. <laughs> I think we hit a major jackpot. Major, all right, we've got all the 4th of July. First of all, all right, that is the jackpot over there, but let me show you the small stuff first. All right, this is so cool. This light up skull tree with a bat on top, $29.99. So cool, look at these beautiful skulls. This is kind of a romantic, gothy vibe we've got going on here. Oh wow, this is really pretty. <gasps> Dapper, Dapper Halloween. This is Victorian Eerie Estate, Victorian goth. I love it. <gasps> that is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. Dapper Halloween, we've got top hats, we've got bow ties. It's official, it's Dapper Halloween. We have typewriters. I'm so excited. This is all so pretty. Look at these massive candles. They're LED, or not LED, but light bulb. Maybe they're LED. What are they? Lights up, batteries not included. Either way, but they're made to look like melting wax and they're huge. We have a maroon velvet. Velvet's the word I was looking for earlier. This velvety, so Eerie Estate collection is what they have out right now. And this is all Victorian gothy. And this kind of looks like the guy we bought today, but a smaller version and it lights up. Does it, uh, no, no batteries in, but gorgeous. That is really pretty and it's sort of 3D, see? The matching pair, both dapper. He's got his top hat. She's got her flowers. Ooh, look at that. That is definitely a vibe. I love it. Dapper Halloween, look at this guy, lit up eyes. Home sweet haunted home. Oh, we got gargoyle. It is a bit muscular for my taste, but <laughs> some skeleton silhouette portraits. And then some busts here. Wow, these remind me of those busts that were popular. When were they popular? In the 70s, 80s? Except they're dapper Victorian skeletons. Of course, a crow. And look at this. Wow, this lantern's cool. Let's see. Oh yeah, neat. And of course there is empty shelf space there, so it looks like a lot more is coming, but here's a sort of an overview look. There's so much. I love that play on be the good you wish to see in the world, be the strange you wish to see in the world. Love that. But, hold on a second. Look at this! Oh my goodness, huge inflatables. One of those huge 10 foot skeletons. There's a Home Depot next door and I thought about going over there because Home Depot generally not only has the huge inflatables but huge animatronics. Home Depots and Lowe's are some of my favorite places. Don't, don't mind this, it just fell out. It's just, that's what happens when you're hardcore Halloween hunting. But I was gonna go there today but I thought there's no way Home Depot or Lowe's are gonna have anything out yet but at home does. I also can see another aisle full of Halloween decor, but let's look at these inflatables and the skeleton first, because I am so excited. We've got the five foot black and orange spider. We've got Jack Skellington sitting on a Jacko lantern. We've got a stack here, pumpkin, ghost, bat, black cat. Oh, look back there, oh my gosh. We've got Frankenstein's monster. We got these reapers that are doing all sorts of stuff. They're all lit up and cool. We got three ghosts telling ghost stories. <laughs> Well, one's telling ghost stories and he's scaring his ghost friends. More spiders. We got the 10 foot posable skeleton, $279.99. He is posable and they have him waving hi. Look how incredible he looks. Got a giant spooky tree back here with light up eyes and mouth that are purple. It's massive. 
a tiny little pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern head, skeleton body, and look, the tree even has draped sort of stuff coming off of it. Look at this guy back here. 12 foot waist turning fire and ice reaper animatronic 399.99 i wish it was on look at all the things they have to have to plug all this in <laughs> wow this is so cool and so fun i love seeing this let's go back here and see what else we got here oh look at this car full of spooky buddies what does it say on the side trick or treat that's very, very cute. I love it. At the end of the Erie Estates collection aisle, like I said, there's space for a lot more, but there are some spiders in here. Let's see if it works, because there is a test. Try me. Oh, it turns on. Cool, it's got green eyes. Ooh, $12.99, not bad. More spiders, and of course, spider web stuff, but, oh, I see more, I see more over there, but I see more right here. Look at this aisle. First of all, look at all this potential. But look at all this that's already here. Right next to this here, we have zero. We've got a little jack-o'-lantern carved like Jack Skellington. And a stack too. Let's see. They don't uh, have batteries in them right now, but they do light up. You know, you get the idea. You can, you can picture it. Look cool. Here's another zero, a light up zero. Look at that. Jack and Sally, a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff out. Oh, this light up, let's see. Whoa, nice. And oh, a bigger zero, oh my golly. Okay, yeah, there's a lot. Here, we got some mats, some classic Halloween mats. Whoa, that was a big one. And then some Thanksgiving-y football, Thanksgiving mixed in. Pumpkin is a spice of life. It is, it truly is. Hey there, pumpkin, that's cute. And then we have some hanging decor. We got skeleton man. We got a witch. Oh, this looks so cool. This is very fantastical, like fantasy looking. What do I do? Press? It says press. But I, I do press and it don't work. Oh, there we go. Seven foot light up witch. Oh wait. Oh, that's cool. It looks like a flickering candle and really creepy, actually. Wow, since this is black against a black background, it may be a little hard to see, but I think it looks awesome, especially with the flickering candle head there. We have some ghosts, traditional, classic Halloween ghosts. You gotta love them. $11.99, not too shabby. They're just straight up ghosts and you can kind of pose them it looks like you can kind of move this foamy stuff inside almost like hangers really ten dollars and there you go pumpkins good time galore Woo! i love to see this there are also some yard stakes out and it looks like pieces for them to build out this shelf but it looks like there's some more over here and this looks like just fall, a cornucopia of fall, or pumpkin copia, actually. This is really cool. So these are about the same price as Joanne's, about $39.99 for the big, huge ones. And I'm sure running the gamut of prices, $6.99 for the small ones, $17.99, various prices like that. But you can see they have quite a lot, a lot of gourds pumpkins, fun stuff. Different color palettes too, of fall and Halloween-y. These are really pretty. Oh, more. Actually, many different colors and different face styles. I thought it would be contained to that one section, but I see pumpkins everywhere, all throughout the store. These are glass pumpkins, also very pretty and many different designs. Artisan glass, $7.99 candles, mugs. We're leaning into Thanksgiving here. Oh, and skull jars with a cork in the top. You could use these for many, many different purposes. Oh my goodness, there is more. I am blown away. Look at this inflatable 
That is nuts. Oh, look. <laughs> look at that skeleton. He's amazing. Wow, so there is just every type of little skeleton creature. We have dinosaurs, octopus, bears, dogs, frogs. Yeah. So this is like graveyard decor section here. Everything you could want. That's the 10 foot posable guy, LED eyes, wow. My goodness, oh, look at this bunny, that is creepy, and the spider, ooh. Even the bear's creepy. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that is quite a lot. This two-headed dog, I've seen this one out before, or at least a similar two-headed dog. Didn't like him then, don't like him now. But, this is very exciting to see a turtle. Oh, dear. Dear, dear, dear. The spider wrapped around the thing there. Very cool. There's a lot here at, at home, a lot. Look at this, another full aisle of Halloween, a full aisle. Let me walk you through and then we'll pick some favorites to look at. I love every single thing I'm seeing here. Remember when I said I like the neon green skeletons? It's glow in the dark too. Oh, and there's a small one. Oh my goodness, I am shook to the core. There's really so much in just this aisle that I'm gonna try to pick some favorites to show you because there's a lot, but I really do like the skeleton cowboy. I, I'm sure this isn't everyone's thing, but I really like it. <laughs> Homespun Halloween decor. Okay, I'll take it. And look at this, and look at this. I feel like we could make a, a big Thunder Mountain spooky type of display here, or a ghost town or something. The, the problem is, is that I like everything, so showing you favorites means that I'm showing you everything. This is very, oh, lights up. No batteries though, but this is a whole scene here. That's really cool. And then, look at this, haunted pumpkin patch and it rolls. $59.99, you could fill it with whatever, like pumpkins, skulls, whatever, and have it out and roll it around if you want to. Why not, you know? Oh, I like everything. Look at these tiny ones, that's cute. Always like the bottles. Uh, let's see, let's see. I don't know, if you see anything that's your favorite, let me know, because I love to know what everybody likes. I feel like everybody has a different taste in Halloween decor, like what type of things they like. And, oh, look at this Frankenstein pumpkin. That's cool, monster. He's alive. I like classic and retro, and I also like some of the funky weird stuff, and I like spooky Victorian goth stuff, and uh, you know, just a, a mix of things. I hope you're having fun with me. More of those big giant candles. Ooh, those are pricey. Salem Brewery, I like that. These that you can put in your yard or wherever. All right, let's move on to this side where we have more classic fall. I just like everything. We've got the Thanksgiving kind of themes, thankful and blessed, grateful, thankful, blessed. Good way to live, good way to be. Let's all be grateful, thankful, and blessed. We got the fall fields, the trucks, and the fall leaves, and the pretty pumpkin. A lot of very pretty things. Owls, gotta love owls. Anyway, you slice it, I'm grateful for you. Oh, the Halloween floating candles. These were popular a few years ago, and there were different variations of them, but they do make for a cool look, and you can do a lot of creative things with them. And we've got a lot of the LED candles. Oh, this is cute, it's a party bowl. Put chips, or whatever, dips, snacks for your party. I always love a ceramic ghost, very simple, very classic. Little vampires, tricky treats. Oh, and these trees again. So they're similar to the kind of ceramic trees that I said I have for Christmas and that we saw at Cracker Barrel earlier. And these are smaller and less expensive too, which is cool. Ooh. This is a very small one, pumpkins. Hmm. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Oh. Oh. 
I like that. I like that a lot. Look at how it glitters and the color changes. That's a laugh. And the crow. This is so awesome. Just so much. So many different pumpkins and gourds that you can use in decorating and crafting in so many various ways. Get really creative. Nice. I think I scoped out everything here at At Home and I'm so glad that I came here. I almost didn't and I'm glad that I went a little bit out of my way because At Home is known to have amazing Halloween decor and since I moved to Orlando, I don't think I've been to an At Home yet and I'm so, so glad that I did because we definitely hit the mother load here. There's so much and there's so much empty shelving waiting to be filled with more i love looking for halloween decor in july and august early in the summer and just in case if you're new here or you haven't been caught up for a while i've been doing a ton of summer videos so don't think i'm skipping summer i love every season i do enjoy summer and i've done resort stays swimming in pools i did the dollywood summer celebration i did fourth of july at epcot so yeah, we're doing summer here too, but mixing it in with Halloween decor shopping in the summer, which is something I've loved for years, ever since I was a kid. Uh, I don't know that they had stuff out this early, but as soon as they did, I would be like, even asking my parents to take me to the store, and as soon as I could drive, even as a teenager, I was not too cool for Halloween. I would go to the stores, Spirit Halloween when it opened, my favorite Halloween store ever. I'd always go to whatever the nearest location to me was, wherever, wherever, Joanne's Michaels. I love Michaels as well. We recently went to Michaels not for a vlog but just hanging out the day we went to the movies to see Indiana Jones and we went to Michaels and there was a ton of fall stuff out and it was so so cute and I don't know if I have any clips or pictures I'll add them in here so you can see them but Michaels always has these cool cities and villages of Halloween's and if you saw my recent video in Pigeon Forge when I went to the Christmas place the incredible Christmas place which is a year-round amazing Christmas store I showed the Halloween decorations there so you can check that out also and they had a bunch of cool stuff little cities so that you could build little towns and cities and scenes little scenery pieces gorgeous I think this is the perfect cap off to a day of Halloween decor hunting and the only reason that I can talk here like this with the camera is because no one is around me I always try to be respectful when I'm out in stores or public places doing this stay out of people's way if I see someone shopping I will wait let them finish and then I will go in the area but right now there is literally no one it's just me and the monsters <laughs> chilling and you and you but I think that's it I think I'll just wrap it up here cuz why not I hope you had a fun time doing this with me this is something I just find so fun I was really in the mood to do it today it is gross outside it's stormy nasty hot humid just wet it's just wet the fourth of july the third and fourth of july i read were like the hottest days on record ever like in the history of ever so and just know also i know that there are folks that always say you know it's too early for halloween and it doesn't bother me i'm not offended or hurt by people saying that because if there's one thing that six years on youtube has taught me it's that everybody has their own opinion and it is absolutely okay everybody's entitled to their opinion everybody is welcome here whether you like halloween or not whatever you know i do a lot of different things all year round this is just one part of the part of the pie one piece of the pie but you're all welcome here everybody of whatever opinions and you're welcome to whatever part of the pie you enjoy just have some pie thank you so much for hanging out with me for just a kind of a chill day shopping window shopping hanging out and spooky vibing i'll see you for the next video and until then as always stay enthused bye